Hello, I am going to show you how to play Super Mario 64. Now this is a highly complex game that can only be played by certain individuals. Uh, it was created by a company known as Nintendo. Now this game is so hard, many have fainted at the sheer complexity of this creation. Notice the graphics, how realistic they are. You would really think you was an overweight plumber in a world ruled by fungus. In this part I will show you how to use the controller. Notice in the center of the controller there is a stick-like device which is used for guiding the hero, Mario, Mario. Notice also that the controller is equipped with miscellaneous other buttons brightly coloured for your amusement and guide. In particular, try out the A button which makes the hero Mario jump. Amazing! Other buttons include the appropriately named B button which makes Mario punch. Now I know this is highly difficult to remember, but A means jump, B means punch. Now Nintendo are always ones for secrecy. They have hidden a button underneath the controller called the Z button. Not C, it's called a Z button. Now the Z button doesn't make Mario go to sleep. No, it allows him to crawl along the ground and make his outfit very dirty. Peach is not going to be pleased, that's for sure. But then again, she's in Bowser's castle right now, having a nice cup of tea. Now, talking about the complexity of this game, if you combine the Z and A buttons together, you would make Mario do a backflip and he shows off. Other buttons on this controller include the right shoulder button. This tells Luca, who is a cameraman, to zoom in on Mario. Very disturbing. Press the R button again and Luca zooms out. In, out. These are the bare minimum controls that you will have to get used to. I know it is very hard, but this is a very difficult game to play. When you are playing this game, you will come across various objects, such as this jumping fungus. His name is Toad and he jumps up and down, up and down, up and down. If you press the A or bus button while situated next to Mr. Toad, you will be able to talk to him. Because this game features such realistic physics and graphics, they could not fit in all the speech, so instead text comes up. I am glad to see you, the princess and I and, well, everybody, we all tread inside the castle walls. Bells has stolen the castle stars and he's using their power to create his new world in the paintings and walls. Please recover the power stars. As you find them, you can use their power to open the doors that Bowser has sealed. There are four rooms to the first floor, starting the one with the painting of bob -omb inside. It's the only room that Bowser hasn't sealed. When you collect eight power stars, you'll be able to open the door with the big star. The princess must be inside. See, these fungus thingy that's gone invisible now is highly informative. Now you know what you must do. Other objects to take note of are spinning yellow coins. These disappear when you touch them. Notice that the cameraman follows you as you move about the room. I know this is a lot to take in, but it's automatic. There is nothing for you to do. No camera stick. So, let's go off to bomb -on Battlefield. Now, to move into other levels, we do not use doors. Instead, we use 
paintings. Notice how the paintings seem to respond to Mario's presence. If you jump into them, you will be transported to another world. Now, this game ha features about a thousand million stars, so you have to pick wisely. Here, I will pick star three because I feel like it. This game features very quick loading times. In a couple of seconds, you will be in another world. See, these pink-like creatures are ready to help you. Other items of interest are boxes which you can break opening, pressing the B button and collect those yellow spinny things. Here we have a Goomba who nicely pushes Mario around. That's his way of saying hello. Whatever you do, do not jump while the Goomba is near you. Instead, the Goomba will continue to greet you in the only way he knows how, which is to run into Mario. See? Now, I think he's got very friendly with Mario. See, there are more spinny yellow things. For some reason, replenish that blue like meter at the top. Now the Goomba is saying hello but we don't have time. Almost at the end of part one I have crammed a lot in to show you I know but there is so much more to this game. In fact you could spend a whole lifetime playing this game. We just say hello to Cooper and the Goombas are saying hello also. In part two we may collect a star. We may fight Bowser, but we'll just have to wait and see in part two.